While traditional taxi companies are all throughout Lithuania, Bolt has become a fairly common name in the business of private transportation, not just in this country, but also across Europe and many other cities around the world. Equivalent to Uber or Lyft in the United States, Bolt isn't the cheapest way to get around Lithuanian cities, but it certainly is one of the most comfortable and convenient for those who don't have their own vehicle. So for those unfamiliar with it, let's quickly go over how to use Bolt. Oh, and if you know how to use Bolt already, the second half of this video has some tips and suggestions which you may find useful. So to get started, you'll need four things. A smartphone, a valid and functioning SIM card with data installed, an email address, and money. As I mentioned in a previous video, getting a prepaid SIM card in Lithuania is extremely cheap and easy, and simpler than in other countries. So the first thing you want to do is download the Bolt app on your smartphone. Next is a fairly quick registration. You can choose from several options, including entering your phone number or signing in with Apple, Google, or Facebook. I chose to use my phone number, and entering it will trigger a verification SMS with a four-digit code. After entering it, you'll be asked to enter your email address, which will then trigger a verification email. Open the email, click on the activation link, and then you're done with the registration. This can take less than two minutes, which makes it a fairly speedy process. Next, you'll want to sort out your method of payment. It's not actually necessary to have a credit card, since you can select cash as a method. If you're using an iPhone, you can link it with Apple Pay, or you can simply enter your credit card information and save it. And with that done, we're ready to order a ride. As this official Bolt instructional video shows, just enter your location and destination, and select which type of ride you would like. Tap each option once to see how many seats are available for each vehicle type. Your phone's GPS should determine your location, but you can change this to a more convenient pickup location. You can even order a Bolt remotely and have it sent somewhere else in the city. This might be useful if you need to help out a friend or family member who doesn't have the app or a smartphone. Now that we've covered the basics, here are some important things to know. First, make sure you set your pickup location somewhere that's easy to access. If you're on a busy road with no easy place to stop, have the Bolt car meet you on a quiet side street or somewhere else that's easy and safe to get to. Some places, like the airport, have dedicated spots for Bolt cars to meet passengers. Secondly, Bolt cars can be difficult to secure, especially at busy times of the week, like a Friday night, or in the very, very early hours of the morning. For example, I had a 7am flight and wanted to get a Bolt at 4.30am on a Monday morning. There was nothing available for at least 20 minutes. This can be stressful and ruin your plans, so plan ahead and have a backup. Next, you can add stops to your trip in case you need to go somewhere and pick up a friend or a package. This can be done when setting up your route and destination. And finally, you can tip your Bolt driver. This function appears in the app after your trip has ended. Unfortunately, it's only available for 15 minutes, so if you want to tip your driver for doing a great job, you should do this immediately after, before you forget. So with all this information, you should have everything you need to get started using Bolt. If you have any additional pieces of advice or a Bolt story to share, leave it in the comment section below. Thanks and good luck!